Your upper chest sucks, right? That's why you're watching this video. I'm Coach Ryan Family from Viper. We're here today in the Viper Pit and I'm gonna give you your fix for a flat upper chest. We're gonna build that hood, make it impressive. I'll show you exactly what to do. Check this out. The first thing you're gonna do, and it feels kind of silly, is you're gonna do some cross fiber friction on those pec fibers. So you're gonna get up under the clavicle and you're just gonna rub horizontally as fast as you can, going all along the length of the clavicle, down on the pec, and then on the sternum. That cross fiber friction wakes up the nervous system, okay? Just rub, dig in as hard as you can with your fingers. Dig, dig, dig. It's gonna try to wake up those fibers manually before we even get started. The next step is going to be exercise activation. For the exercise activation, we're simply going to go empty handed, not gonna hold any weight. If you can't activate without weight, you're not gonna be able to activate with weight. So you're gonna go on a steep incline bench um, above 45 degrees, could be 45, that's fine. We're going to work the two main functions of the pet, to horizontally adduct the arm and to internally rotate. So we're going to come up and we're going to come in that position, in that steep incline, and you're just going to squeeze. 10 seconds. Squeeze, relax, come in, squeeze again. We're going to the fully shortened position. You're taking your fists and jamming them together and you're trying to squeeze and contract that upper pec up by the clavicle. 10 repetitions with a 10 second hold on this one to maximally turn on the nervous system's drive to those fibers. Next, we've got 20 degree incline close grip presses. Now, we're varying the angle of the bench throughout this whole thing to make sure we're targeting the full spectrum of the upper pectoral fibers. This one, we're going low incline, we're going close grip. Why a close grip? Because it brings more horizontal adduction at the top, okay? So you're gonna get a better squeeze on that chest. Um, and we're going heavy on this one, so full recovery, four sets of six to eight reps, as heavy as you can stand. I want you to explode on the way up. There's no lightweight squeezing here. So nice close grip, shoulder blade set, stay tight, bring it down, and punch up under control. Do not turn this into a pump type session. This should be heavy, it should be explosive, long rest, three minutes rest between sets minimum. So why are we keeping it heavy? Why full recovery? The reason is because we're gonna maximally stimulate mechanical tension. Mechanical tension is one of the prime drivers for muscle hypertrophy, and that is improved most with load, okay? The next exercise we're gonna do, same incline, same bench. You're just gonna take whatever weight you have in your final set of incline presses heavy. You're gonna add 20 to 30% more weight, and you're gonna do one single lowering repetition. Now you're gonna either need a spotter to drag it back off of you, or pins in the rack, to set the bar down once you're done. You're just doing one repetition of a slow lowering, but it's an eight second even eccentric all the way through, so it's gonna look like this. Again, 20 to 30% more weight than you pressed previously. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then your spotter lifts it up, or you dump it on the pins and get up. So that, the reason we do that is for um, for muscle damage. Eccentric exercise creates the most muscular damage, especially if it's overload eccentrics. That is going to further develop the hypertrophy trigger. Now we're going to get into the metabolic stress stuff or the pump stuff that you've probably been expecting. I apologize this clip got lost in the shuffle, but the uh, next series is going to be a three-part series. Um, I'm just missing the first exercise, the other two are here. Um, so you do three exercises in a tricep format. So you do them all in a row back to back with no rest. And then after the third exercise, you'll rest for 90 seconds and repeat for three rounds through the circuit. First exercise, uh, pretty basic 30 degree dumbbell inclined chest press with the elbows flared out wide. You really wanna flare the elbow, oh, elbows out wide and far back to target the pec fibers, especially the ones that are up close to the clavicle. Um, so 10 to 12 reps on this one, and then you'll quickly move and adjust to the next exercise. Immediately after you finish the 12th rep on the elbows flared 30 degree press, you're going to hop up, you're going to change the bench angle to 45 degrees, and we're going to do dumbbell squeeze press. For dumbbell squeeze press, you're going to hold the dumbbells with a neutral grip with the ends together, and you're going to push inward as you press up. So starting here, ends together, we push inward as you press up. That's really gonna tax those upper fibers hard. You're gonna feel an intense contraction at the very top. So you'll probably need lighter dumbbells than you used uh, for the 30 degree elbow split press. 12 to 15 on this one, and then we're gonna move on to the next one. 
The last exercise we got in the tricep pairing for upper chest is going to be a low to high uh, pulley fly with internal rotation. So you're going to grab the actual uh, cable itself. You're going to try to duplicate the angle that you got on the bench during that activation series. So slight forward lean, low to high, and you're going to internally rotate as you do it. You try to internally rotate at the humerus as you squeeze together. And you're going to go for these for 15 to 20 reps with a one second hard contraction. Then you're gonna rest for 90 seconds, go back to the first exercise in the superset for three rounds. The last but certainly not least portion of this upper chest torch is going to be feet elevated push-ups. You got 100 total reps. Do them in as many sets as it takes to get there. What you do, you set a timer prior to starting your first rep, and then each time you repeat this workout, you try to do the 100 reps in a faster time. So we're looking for good foot elevation on a bench, nice solid body, going down as low as we can, and then back up to full lockout. These are great because they work the pecs, but they're also good for shoulder health because they work the serratus anterior and upward rotators of the shoulder blades, which are critical shoulder stabilizers. I also like to put my hands on like aerobic steps or medicine balls to get a deeper stretch. Uh, you can try that too. If this is too advanced for you, uh, you can do push-ups with your feet on the floor or your hands elevated if you're if you're that toasted by the rest of the workout. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this upper pec blast. Give it a try for six chest workouts in a row. I'm Coach Ryan Family from the Viper Pit. Glad I could help you with that weak upper chest.